Hi everyone, Sageet here, back with another video. If you guys want to skip immediately to the action, you can go to the 1 minute mark. But for those of you staying behind, I'll give you guys a quick breakdown on what to expect in this video. So I'll be starting off with the new characters and then I'll be making my way to the more of the veteran characters. But I'll be giving my own opinions on the voice actors and what they've been doing in the past. And I'll also be giving an example of a clip or voice clip from one of the trailers or one of the many trailers, I should say regarding the characters so you guys can kind of get a full immersement into what to expect when the full game comes out. We're only like maybe three months away now so yeah not that far. I'm quite hyped for the game as well. Definitely plan on doing coverage from it. If you guys haven't checked my channel too much uh, you can check my channel for like um, Street Fighter content. Just type in CGT or Street Fighter and I do like a lot of translation work as well. But anyhow with that out of the way let us begin the video. Starting off, we have Luke who will be played by Tomoaki Mayano, who previously voiced Denim from Tactics Ogre Reborn and Malvier from Fire Emblem Engage. I know some of you guys might be like, wait, Luke's not a new character, he was in Street Fighter V. Well, technically he was actually first conceived to be the main character in Street Fighter VI, and it wasn't until the Capcom staff decided, oh, let's um, put him in Street Fighter V to promote Street Fighter VI, so that's it essentially. And we do have a voice clip and I'll be playing it now. <laughs> Stuff from Tomoyaki as usual. Next up, we have Jamie, who will be voiced by Shunsuke Takeuchi, who previously voiced Gonta from Dongenrappa V3 and Ratatoska from God of War Ragnarok. Like, this guy's got like incredible range. And I'll play a quick clip of him doing Jamie now. <laughs> Coming up next, we have Kimberly, who will be voiced by Nao Toyama, who recently played Seneca from Fire Emblem Engage and Fire Emblem Heroes by extension, and Shidoge Kirisaki from Nisekoi. I've heard her a few times, pretty decent, and I'll be playing a clip of her doing Kimberly now. <laughs> Next up we have Melissa who will be played by Mitsuki Saiga who usually plays Young Link to some extension. I believe the last one was the Link to the Past on the Nintendo Switch. And also Joshua Bright from The Legend of Heroes Trials into Reverie. And let me play a quick clip of Marissa in action. And following up we have Maron, like Marissa's rival apparently from the looks of it, who will be voiced by Ayaka Fukuhara who played Rin from Princess Connect and Anastasia from Sakura Wars. I also have a quick clip and I'll play that just now. And next up we have the big baddie JP apparently, who will be played by the legendary Tomokazu Sugita who is most famous for playing Joseph from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and Gintoki from Gintama, and also by extension, Yusuke from Persona 5. And um, it'll be interesting to see in what capacity um, JP will be competing with Gil. I'm assuming Gil's still part of the picture, right? But anyhow, I'll play a quick clip of JP in action. <laughs> And at last, we have our final newcomer, Lily, who will be voiced by Bie Kukimiya, who played Kagura in Gintama and Alphonse Elric in Full Metal Alchemist. Um, we don't know yet if she's like the daughter of T-Hawk or just the girl that uh, T-Hawk taught or anything like that. But I know there's also one additional character, but um, I'll be talking more about that at the end. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick clip. Okay, and starting off with our veteran characters, we have Ryu, who finally got a new pair of shoes, or shoes in general. He'll be voiced by Hiroki Takahashi, who has been playing Ryu since Street Fighter 4 who's also recently played Kukri from King of Fighters 15 and Shido from Xenoblade Chronicles 3. All in all, looking forward to it, um, hearing him once more, and I'll play a quick clip of him in action. <laughs> Next up, we have Chun-Li being voiced by Fumiko Orikasa, who's also been voiced in Chun-Li since Street Fighter 4. 
She's most notably played Rukia from Bleach and Lisa Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist. And here will be a quick clip of Chun Li in action. And next up, we have Julie, who will be voiced by Eri Kitamura, who's been voiced in Julie ever since her introduction in Street Fighter, or no, Super Street Fighter 4, I should say. And on the side, she's also been voicing Hie Chan from Azure Lane and Kekin from Genshin Impact. And here's a quick clip of her in action. <laughs> And next up, we have Guile, who will be voiced by Hiroki Yasumoto, the everyday man. Uh, he's been voicing Guile since Street Fighter 4, like many other characters so far. But he's surprisingly also played Chad from Bleach and King from One Punch Man. I hope you guys enjoy this quick clip of Guile in action. <laughs> Next up, we have Ken, who will be played by Yuji Kishi, who's been playing Ken surprisingly all the way back from the third strike. So, this guy's definitely an OG. I'll, I'll give to him that. And he also played the Red Ranger in a, like the Japanese original edition of Power Rangers Turbo. But he's been doing a lot of theater work. Anyhow, enjoy this quick clip. Once and you. Next up, we have E Honda, who will be voiced by Yoshikazu Nagano, who played E Honda all the way back from Street Fighter 4, and also played Kolo Lucifer from Hunter x Hunter, the 1999 anime adaption, and Pratchiata from Triangle Strategy. And here's a clip of E Honda doing similar stuff. <laughs> And we have the Yoga Master, Daozim, being voiced by Daisuke Egawa. He's also been voiced in Daozim since Street Fighter 4. But surprisingly, uh, he played Wolverine in the a Japanese adaption of X-Men Evolution and Doctor Doom all the way back in 1994. Like, wow. Anyhow, here's a quick clip of him in action. Okay, and next we have Blanca being voiced by Yuji Reda, who's been playing Blanca all the way back from Alpha 3. I think he's probably tied with the Ken actor for like, um their voice acting roles for Street Fighter. But he's also voiced Brock from Pokemon and Sonosuke from Lunonin Kenshin. I hate Blanca, but I like the other characters, but anyhow, here's a quick clip of him in action. Okay, and next we have DJ being voiced by Kenji Hamada, who's been playing DJ ever since Street Fighter 4, and also played Raven from Soul Hackers 2, and Star-Lord in obviously the Japanese dub of Guardians of the Galaxy. And here's a quick clip of our favorite Jamaican in action. Moving on, we have Zangief who will be voiced by Kenta Miyake. I'm sure that most of you guys will know him either as All Might from My Hero Academia or Muhammad Abdul from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Yes, I am. <laughs> but anyhow, here's a quick clip of him in action in the latest trailer. Okay, and next up, and finally, we have Killer Bee, or the Cream Bee. Kami, who will be voiced by Miyuki Sawashiro, who previously played Kurapika from Hunter x Hunter, and Raiden Shogun from Genshin Impact. Here's a quick clip of her dealing out some heavy damage. Okay, and one more final note for those of you guys who may be curious. Uh, if you've been in the know from last year with the whole big uh, scandal regarding the character leak list of Street Fighter V, 
we did see that uh, Rashid, Akuma, and Ed, and one new character called Aki or AKI will be in the game as well. At this point, we're going to assume they're going to be DLC characters like DLC Wave 1. So yeah, that'll be it for that. But I'm obviously going to assume that all of the voice actors will be returning like with many of the other characters we've seen so far. But for Aki, yeah, I have no idea. But you can be sure that I'll be covering the Japanese uh, content for the game as uh, it comes out in June. But if you guys are interested in any more Street Fighter content to kind of like kill time until Street Fighter 6 comes out, uh, feel free to check out my other Street Fighter content uh, on YouTube. I've been translating a lot of stuff from Alpha 3, Third Strike, and Capcom vs SNK2, and even Pocket Fighter, if any of you guys even know that game. So, um, yeah, I've been translating a lot of that content. I plan to do even more content when uh, Street Fighter 6 comes out. So, yeah, feel free to check out the comment description because I should be able to, or I, I plan to actually, add the links in the description. But anyhow, if you guys like the video, feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. That would kind of help out my small channel a lot. And until next time, take care and goodbye.